Hi everybody, this is Leo Leoni, and this time for Cor Leoni, and I'm here with Ornella at the uh, Come Backstage. Hi Leo, thank you very, very much for your time. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty right, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, doing all right, keep busy as usual, and uh, we are in and out with Rock Meet Classic, every night another town, every night another show, and uh, yeah, we are on tour since uh, the beginning of this month, and it's great. Sounds good. And you you have all the, uh, also been on tour with um with Contact. Yeah, so we we did old <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. I'm a little bit this e this year I'm a little bit busy. Um, we've been out with Gotthard on tour with the Defrosted 2, so it's yeah. unplugged tour on the old the old March. Now we on, I'm on tour with this Rock Me Classic, mm -hmm. the old April, then I go back and play some show with Corleone and yeah. then festivals and then in and out. Yeah. <laughs> and you've also been on tour with uh, Corleone in March. How was the tour? Actually short, but good. <laughs> 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 it was actually it was just a few shows and then uh, it's great. We, that, we did some, so we had some good reaction on, the new, on this good. new, yeah, yeah. And let's get back. Um, how did you come up with the idea of Corleone? Well, this uh, is an idea which is around since a long time. And uh, all of a sudden, when Gotha decided to We decided with Gotha to do this defrosted tour second the second time uh, going out for a, an unplugged tour. I decided that was the right time to to start with this uh, this project which I had in mind already since 1999. Oh wow! Uh, so Such a long time. yeah, and then I always postponed it and was always po postponed it. And uh, why? For many reasons, because because uh, life sometimes uh, you have to t take the decision in life sometimes yeah. and. The last time when I decided to start a project was like 2010, it was like September, mm -hmm. when Gotter wanted to do the Defrosted oh. 2. Steve went for a holiday, never came back. Yeah. So this tragedy happened, so I had to postpone it again. Mm. And uh, yeah, now I'm here and I'm doing it. <laughs> so basically it was first uh, the idea to do it with Steve? No, was, uh, the idea was to do it with different singers back then. and uh, But then again, things changing and then you know, it happened what it happened and all of a sudden I found Ronnie Romero on tour which was uh, mm -hmm. playing uh, with Lords of Black in, mm -hmm. uh, in, uh, in, uh, as an opening act in, uh, in Spain, the tour in oh, Spain okay. and I was blown away about his voice and, <laughs> and so we, talk, I, we <laughs> talked together and, and uh, you know, we, we, we stayed fra uh, in contact and yeah. April last year it, I called him up to say, are you interested to do wow. this or are you still interested on yeah. this idea which uh, we discussed about it? And he said yes. And so we pulled it. Great. And how did you find the other guys? Well, the other guys won. The drummer is Hannah. And um, yeah, well <laughs> how you found him, I imagine. <laughs> yes. And I told him, listen, this is what I do. Are you in or not? Yeah. Of course, he said yes. Igor cool. was playing with us in 1994. So the other guitar player. So he played okay. the DLR tour and is my neighbor. So Oh really? Yeah. So and then was <laughs> a logical, a logical uh, first choice, especially because yeah. because we played already back then together, mm -hmm. and this is exactly the sound that I want to bring back, and I wanted to bring back. And Igor mm -hmm. was the the right person to do this. And um, so I asked him, and he, of course, he said yeah. yes. Let's give it a try. I played him some tracks in studio, and he loved it. And um, Mila, the bass play player, is. Uh, we did an audition because I, I asked Igor okay. if he knew somebody from the region. Yeah. And I told him I would love to have a bass player that is somewhere like Nikki Six <laughs> and Lemmy oh from wow. Motor. And then, well, I. I quite hard. No, actually, no, because <laughs> they say, yeah, I got this guy. And then the guy came in in the rehearsal room. We did, we did, we did some, we jammed together. And after five minutes, we said, okay, this is the guy. Wow. So what was a great it, uh, yeah, what, it was great, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and how does it feel being on stage um, with a different lineup than Gotthard is? Isn't this strange in, in some kind of ways? Well, y yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> we pl I'm playing songs from Gotthard. I'm playing songs yeah. which I, I wrote back then with Steve and with my friends. And uh, in fact, uh, it's funny. It, it is interesting. And uh, there's a new, a new situation, a new, a, a new vibe, I would say. Mm -hmm. But still, the energy which is coming out is is fantastic. Is is right there when you. Uh, how it was uh, in 1994, 95 back then, and this is great. And uh, things which we got that this is a little bit different because we play a little bit more mainstream, if you want. And this is, 
it's interesting. There's a great energy. It's funny. We're having fun, and yeah, I like it's it. great to 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 play those songs with with great musicians as mm -hmm. I knew already, and especially with a great singer like Ronnie, which is like he's doing an, an amazing job. Absolutely. And how can I imagine the the process of choosing the songs to put to to put on on the record? I mean, this must have been like a, a journey in in your complete past. Yeah, somehow yes and somehow not, because there's many songs which we didn't play for a long time and so it was kind of a logical logical choice and and as you see in the album it's written Greatest Hits Part 1. Yeah. <laughs> so very possibly it's going to be a part two. And now live, of course, we have to play more songs than actually they are in, in the record. So there are already some some choice there. And okay, cool. So there's a... Yeah, the, like, it's the best. Of, it's the first best of of those <laughs> of those albums <laughs> or those songs which we don't play them. I'm looking forward to more. And um, from that album, the my favorite track is "Higher" because I just uh, okay. I, I love the voice and, and the music and the vibe. What is yours? Do you have one, and why? Well, <laughs> it's 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 funny because "Higher" is very interesting. It's a very interesting song, and, and um, actually was also, uh, I mean, was a was a. Ronnie wished to 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 get this song and sing this song and and it's great and it turned out to be amazing, amazing and yeah. and uh, I'm very glad on that. I would say my favorite for sure is gonna be Fire Dance is one of my all time favorite Gotter song. Okay. And uh, why? Just because. <laughs> <laughs> is there a special story behind it or behind the lyrics? No, I think it's just a, a song which is I like the, the groove. I like I like the beat. I like it's possibly one of the first song we wrote oh. together with Downtown and back then and then uh, I like this kind of kind of metal retro metal yeah, if you yeah, want yeah. to which is like and I, I love I love the beat and that's it it's mm -hmm. a great song too yeah and it's a love song <laughs> not many people understand that this is a love song but uh, yeah well, was it a, a real story behind it or I'm afraid I cannot answer this question because oh. I did I just wrote a part of the lyrics but uh, okay. the lyrics was written by somebody which is not with us anymore and okay. I'm afraid I would love to not yeah, do say something which is not correct. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> and um, you've been in the music industry like forever. And Almost. yeah, it seems like that. <laughs> is there something that annoys you really, really much nowadays, which was different back then when you started? Well, I think maybe it's annoying that the people don't take so serious anymore music or they don't give the right value no they take it serious but they don't give the right value to the music and to the what's all around music in the music business in the music so whatever musician engineers uh, people that work on the music branch and i think that's a uh, that that's sad because uh, this is gonna it's not gonna help the future especially mm. the new the newcomer mm. and this is this is a little bit sad but i think I think things are gonna change and things they they're gonna be better. I think and somebody's gonna wake up and say, "Oh, maybe we have to do something." Otherwise, yeah. after tomorrow, there's not gonna be music anymore. Yeah, New music. True. And I mean, what what advice would you give to to a young band nowadays who wants to make it as big as Gotthard, for for example? <laughs> well, just like <laughs> just like go for it and don't don't hesitate on doing things and don't don't stop doing it. Just because maybe there's a problem left or right, if there's a problem, just try to solve it and and move ahead. You know, and I think actually there's a movie coming uh, uh, which just came out in uh, in a theater in Switzerland, mm -hmm. with the calls One Life on Soul and explain exactly all the story I've got with the with the ups and downs and okay. so just like go for it and nail it. And would you say it's it's uh, important for a musician, especially nowadays, having like a backup plan or something? There's always, <laughs> there's always a good plan to have a backup plan because you never know when it's gonna be the last day you could perform or, or I think true. it's just like, but that's I think it's a very simple rule and a very s simple things in every everybody's life. In, the, in never mind if you're a musician or, or you're secretary or yeah, whatever. Yeah. You know, just like you always have to have kind of a plan B, ready to go. So uh, let's hope that you'll still make it for quite some time on stage. And um, hope. <laughs> we hope so. What are your goals with Corleone? What my goal with Corleone? <laughs> I don't know. Let, we just started. Sure. We just started. We're going to play some festival. We're going to do tour. We're going to tour in Germany, in Switzerland. Cool. This, uh, f uh, this summer, we're going to have some festivals. So we hope we're going to be around the world for a while. Wow. Sounds good to me. 
Sounds good to me too. So looking forward to it. Uh, thank you very much for your time, Leo. And the last words are yours. Well, thank you for the interview and then see you on tour. I'm on the road with different projects. Get there, have fun. Let's do some rock and roll together. Peace.